Hey everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. Today I'm going to revisit an app that's been out for a little while. It's called Google Goggles. Google Goggles is a really hard program to pronounce when you say it really fast. And I'm probably going to screw it up a few times, so forgive me in advance. But what it lets you do is it harnesses the power of Google to search stuff using your phone's camera. So there's lots of cool stuff that it can do. It can search for books, it can search logos, it can search barcodes, it can even scan business cards and contact information and allow you to import them right into your phone. So it's really cool. But they just introduced something else and that's a translate module. So I'm going to hurry and show you just a brief overview of a whole bunch of stuff that it can do and then we're going to jump right into translate. So let's go take a look. This is a Nexus One running Android 2.2, but goggles will work on any Android device running Android 1.6 and above. The icon looks like a pair of 3D glasses with the word goggles underneath it. We'll tap that, and the first thing that you'll notice is it's basically just a camera app, but it is GPS enabled. GPS is turned on by default, if you can see a little GPS icon down in the corner. So, because this is a camera app, it stands to reason that you can scan stuff, like barcodes, with the camera. So we'll go ahead and do that. It autofocuses, takes the picture, and then runs through and does a recognition. In this case, it says that it scanned a barcode and it came up with Firefly, the complete series, yada yada yada. It's got some uh, web search results, gives you a link to compare prices at Google product search, uh, does some text matches, and even shows you the picture that it took and lets you just come down here and type in a search phrase if that wasn't at all what you wanted. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it can also do more complex barcodes like I showed you in my QR code video. This can scan QR codes as long as I can find the QR code in the viewfinder. So I'm going to take that picture. It'll autofocus and recognize and you can see there it found a URL that's tappable and in fact that's the right URL. If we tap that it's going to go ahead and launch the web browser and put that right there into your browser. So pretty neat. Let's go and see what else goggles can do. So barcodes are cool but let's say uh, back to Firefly. Let's say we don't have a barcode here or the barcode is damaged or missing. That's a problem. So Goggles will let you do something really neat, and that is we're just going to come in here and take a picture of the cover, and I'm not even going to get all of the cover, just some of it. And if we look, it's doing its recognition, and lo and behold, it found that this is the same thing that it found when it was doing the barcode search. It has the same set of results, has some similar results, and there's the picture that we took. So that's really cool. Let's see what other stuff it can do. This is a book by Margaret Weiss called Ghost Legion. It's the fourth book in her uh, Star of the Guardians trilogy. Don't ask me how four is in three, but anyway, we're gonna do the same thing here. Take a picture, and it scans through all that, and this time it didn't find anything. We're gonna try one more time and then move on. We'll get a little bit more of the book here. And it's going through and scanning that again. And this time it got it. This is Ghost Legion. Compare, compare prices on it. We can even preview that book at Google Book Search. So we'll go ahead and do that. It loads up books.google.com. Has a book review, has user ratings, lots of cool stuff about the book. So let's get back. One of the things that Google Goggles does is logo recognition. So I've got an empty bottle of Vicks NyQuil cough. Let's scan that and see what we come up with. This is really hard to hold the camera and take pictures like this, so bear with me. So there's the picture and there's the scanning. And it found a logo, in this case NyQuil. So it didn't figure out that that was NyQuil... Uh, cold and cough, but it did find the Vix NyQuil logo and it gives us some web results that help out with that. Now if we wanted to find the exact product, we could always come over here and scan the barcode and see what results that gave us. 
and it did pretty good. It says this is an antihistamine cough suppressant, cherry flavor, 10 ounces, and sure enough, this is a uh, antihistamine cough suppressant, 10 ounces. So perfect recognition there. This is something more complicated. It's a business card. You may have seen these uh, if you do any kind of business. People like to hand them out. It has their contact information on them. But what it doesn't have is a quick and easy way to get that information into your phone. So this is real world stuff, guys. So if you show up at my house, make sure you have a pizza, some Mountain Dew, uh, something like that. If you call me, go ahead and leave a constructive message. Uh, email, do the same thing. Be nice. So we'll put that in our viewfinder, and we'll take a picture and see how it does. And right there it found my address, it found my title, it found my name, and it's asking me if I want to add it to contacts, which one touch I can go ahead and do that, so that's great. If we're in a different language I could even translate that, and then it gives me some web results which are all very relevant the first two results are my website um, the next one is actually a link to me uh, that somebody else has put up there so that's kinda cool and then of course I've got the picture if I need to refer to it and don't have that business card anymore so really really neat but this translate thing is kinda interesting so let's take a look at that what I've got here is a French textbook and this textbook has French in it, and I can't speak French. I can't read French. I know that French is a language that they speak somewhere in a country near Spain. But what I want to do is I can't get the text that I want. That's, that's this text right here um, in the frame without messing up. So I'm going to use this other feature, which is the crop tool, which I don't like the way they implemented because you have to crop on your viewfinder not on the taken picture so that's kinda awkward as you can see but you can highlight basically what you want it to take a picture of and it'll only scan that which makes your scans faster and more accurate you just have to make sure you keep it in the right orientation so we'll go ahead and do that it's taking that picture and it's scanning through right now and in this case, it found a bird book. Not what I wanted, and not the result that I got when I tested this out. So let's try again. Again, this is just the text. And in this case, it got the text, so great. Let's go ahead and translate that. It automatically detects that it was in French, and it tells me that this says, in the fall, we play football. In winter, it's cold. It rains a lot in the spring. It goes to the beach in the summer. Okay, great. I don't know if that's what that says or not. Maybe uh, one of my uh, French viewers can help me translate that more accurately and see if it did a pretty good job, but... As far as I can tell, since this picture up here talks about, uh, it looks like the beach, it looks like there's a park and uh, football, which in America we call this soccer, uh, and then skiing over here, it looks like that is contextually relevant and, uh, and pretty good. So if I were in France and needed to find out what a sign said, I could use my Google phone running Android and Google goggles to quickly take a picture of that and scan it in and translate it. Now I've even seen sometimes where some translations have a speak option. Uh, I think that's more on the website but I think that's coming over to this app sometime soon so keep your fingers crossed but how cool would that be if you could see something that you didn't know what it said take a picture of it and have it speak it back to you in the native language and then in the translated language as well. So really we're, we're just one step closer to uh, to living in a Star Trek universe here with uh, a universal translator in this case and of course that would be your pad but all kinds of cool stuff uh, what kind of stuff have you scanned using Google goggles again let me get back here and show you this um, Is it neat? Is it lame? Is it a pain? Do you like to use it? Have you ever dropped your phone when you're doing that uh, that crop tool? I'd like to know. Uh, there's one other feature that I haven't showed you here and that's the uh, little what's near me geo pin. I'm going to do an entirely separate video about that 
Uh, we'll do it outside on location. But uh, go ahead and give Google Goggles a try and let me know how your searches turn out. You can see in this video we were about 80-90% accurate, but I want to know about you. Is it any better for you or uh, is it just kind of lame? Is it a tool that you'd use all the time or is it something you'd install and then throw away? Let me know in the comments. And talking about Google Goggles, I am Joe for PocketNow.com.